Okay, so on page 31, we're starting here with a lesson on simple interest. If your parents have ever bought something with a loan, this applies to something from their real life. Or if they're putting money into a savings account that earns interest, this is how it works. Okay, so we're going to be looking at some real world problems about simple interest. Uh, some important vocabulary to start off with. Interest is equal to three things. The principal, the principal means either the amount you started with to save. Really, it means the amount started with either way. It's either the amount you started with to save, so you opened a savings account and you put in $50, that's your principal or you bought a car and you borrowed $6,000. The people you borrowed the money from are going to charge interest based on that principal of $6,000, okay? So when we talk about principal, we're not talking about Mr. Christopher, we're talking about the amount of money it started with, okay? The rate is the percentage rate. So for instance, credit card offers come in the mail <clears throat> and they come at different rates. So if your parents have credit cards, they probably looked at which was the better deal. Which one can they use that has the lowest percentage rate on the money that they're borrowing for their credit card? And time is literally just that, how much time it will take. Okay? So with that, notice these three things are all multiplied together. The amount of money times the rate, and the rate is going to be a percent, times the amount of time. So let's look at this first problem. Larry invests $100 in a savings plan. What does that make the $100? It's the principal, right. The plan pays 4.5% interest each year on his $100 account balance. So we're going to try to find out how much money will Larry earn in interest after three years? So he puts the $100 in the savings plan and he leaves it there and he doesn't touch it. What happens after three years and what happens after five years? How much money will he make just letting his money sit in the savings account? So let's set this up. The interest, and I want you guys writing this down, is equal to the formula principal times rate times time. So the interest earned is going to be $100 because that's what he started with. And remember, if we have a percent, 4.5% is 4.5 over 100 as a, de as a fraction. We need to turn it into a decimal so that we can multiply it. So I'm going to divide this out. 4.5 divided by 100 gives us a decimal of 0 0.045. Remember, we've also done this where if we have 4.5 and we want to turn this into a decimal, we can move the decimal place two places, and that's going to give us 0 0.045. And the time is how many years? Three. First, we're going to do it with three years. Okay, so if you have a calculator handy, go ahead and let's calculate this with me. We're going to enter 100 times 0 0.045 times 3. It's right here. And what is his interest after three years? 13. I got 13.5, which is $13 and 50 cents. So 
So after three years, he will make $13.50. Can we do the same for five years? Let's set this up again down here. Interest still equals the principal times the rate times the time. He originally put in $100. He has the same interest rate over all five years. Only this time our number for the years or time is five. Go ahead and calculate that. And I end up after three or five years, instead of three years, we have five years, he gets $22.50. And let's turn the page and try a couple more problems like this. You always want to start off with the interest is equal to the principal times the rate times the time. We have a $1,000 savings bond that earns simple interest at the rate of 3% each year. Before we can solve this, we have to turn that 3% into a decimal. And what does it equal as a fraction? 3 over 100. And if we divide 3 over 100, what do we get? Mm -hmm. equals 0 0.03. 3 percent is 3 over 100. If I divide 3 by 100, I get 0 0.03. So for my interest here, what do we know our principal is? 1,000 times our rate of 3 percent. In this case, the interest is paid at the end of every month. How much interest will the bond have earned after three months? So how much time do we have? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and calculate that. Mm -hmm. Oh, three, you know what? 3 over 12 is what I should have done. Because it is over each year, thank you for pointing that out. I was thinking of years, even though I said months. So because we have it over 3 over 12, why did I put this over 12? Because, like, because we have to pay each year, but there's only three months. There's only three months, um, and there's 12 months in a year, so we're going to turn that into a decimal and rewrite this. So let's show this again with all decimals. 1,000 is our principal. 3% is our rate, and 0.25 is three months. It is one-fourth of the year. And you can go ahead and calculate that. We just multiply all three numbers together. So $7.50 at the end of three months. OK, 
okay with that for the rest of the time you guys have to work together today I want you to work with your table partner on page 33 on exercise one and exercise two where it says partner work and that's going to be the extent of our work in the packet today two more problems similar to the two that you just we just did together